So over here you can see that I have a bunch of tasks and what you can do with this is you can also use the highlight task option to highlight out different tasks as you like. So for that you need to go around onto the view menu on the top and once you go around onto the view menu, you can go around onto a highlight area right here. And here you can see that there's different type of tasks that you can choose from. For example, if you were to click on active task, then it highlights out the active tasks over here, just like this. You can go around over here and select out completed task and it'll highlight out completed task as you can see. And that this makes it easy for you to track down different tasks that you have in your project. You can also go around over here and select critical tasks right here. Those are important. And you can also go around and select out a date range right here, just like this for the tasks right here, like uh, before and after right here, just like this. And the tasks will be selected accordingly and will be highlighted as you can see right here. You can go around and select out lay task and so forth as you can see from over here. You can also go around onto more highlighter filters right here and select out different tasks as you can see right here or um, uh, filter them out by resources over here just like this like cost greater than and so forth like date range groups and so forth as you like as well. So you can experiment around with this as you can see right here. So if I, if I were to let's say for example select out milestones and press apply you can see that this is what you have. You can go around and clear out the highlights just like this as well. Or you can add in a new highlight filter right here just like this and then go around and select out, let's say for example, uh, field name right here. You can go around and select out, uh, uh, let's say for example, you can go around and say active right here. And if I were to go around and add in, let's say for example, uh, equals right here, value yes, then apply, then you can see that that is how you can apply our filters as well to the task. And that is how you can utilize um, highlight task option inside of Microsoft project. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.